hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is part four of our case management series today's video will be covering data imports so i'll be walking you guys through how to import your data into your existing suit crm if you've not seen the other videos for this series that's part one two and three of this particular series i'll link it in the description as well as on the screen so try as much as possible to watch those other ones before you continue with this one so guys let's log in once you log into your crm you see all your modules you can import data for any module on the crm that data import has been enabled for for so for others you can see the import so the import is only available if the admin has enabled it then for product as well you can see the import so this has also been enabled for product module so the same thing applies for to every other module once the import is enabled for that module you can be able to import data into it let's go ahead and import to this so before you import you have to download the templates so once you download the templates you open it you see what the templates looks like so there are instructions on how to work with this if you go ahead you can see the instructions that you need to follow in order for you to be able to import your data successfully so let's just go ahead and delete this please do well to read the instructions before you carry on so once this is deleted let me just increase the fields so that you can see the headings so this is product name product id have description so some of these modules are not compulsory some might even be the ones that you have hidden from that module it could be um the custom fields that came with that particular module some of them might appear in your downloaded template so you just go ahead to do your data cleaning so you need to clean this data to ensure that whatever heading you have here is the same thing as what you have in your crm so i'll just go ahead to open it all so that we can now delete the ones that we don't need okay so once we are done with that we'll go ahead and delete the fields that we don't need so we'll delete the ones that are not compulsory so always check your crm so let's go back to the products module so if you take a look at the product module here you can see that we have product name as compulsory we have product category we have price then product type okay this is not compulsory then you can see that we have product category which is a related field so for every related field it takes you to that module let's go ahead and open the module itself so you can open your own module and check what fields are compulsory in that particular module so whatever fields are compulsory in the related module ensure that you don't delete them in your excel so let's just go back to mine so once we're here we just go ahead and delete the fields that are not compulsory even in the related module so i'll just delete this delete assigned to as well so i'll just go ahead and delete every field that is not compulsory and then we continue from there but even if yours is not compulsory but you have the data for it so so long as you have the data for it and you want to impute the data no problem you can go ahead and leave them and then fill in the data that you already have you don't need to delete them and this can also be done for existing data let's say for example you implemented this case management for your organization and you already have about 1000 or 10,000 cases so you just go ahead and 
clean that data to ensure that it conforms to what you have currently on your case management module once you have achieved that then you can go ahead and import the data so let's just quickly clean this up okay i'm done with this so once you're done with your data cleanup you go ahead and fill in the new data so since i don't have the file i want to upload already on my system i'll just go ahead and create new ones so here you can see that the related fields i have here is product category so i'll just go ahead and create all my fields but for my product category i'll be adding an additional category so once you add a field that does not exist on your crm or the data once you add a data that does not exist in your crm it will also create that for you when you import this data so i will add a new product category which is pants to this my um excel sheet and then we'll see what happens after the data imports So select yes. This is to ensure that your file is saved in CSV format. Because you can only import in CSV format. We'll go back to the product module, click on import. Then you can choose to create only new records or you can create new record and update existing record. So let's go ahead and choose file products.csv you select that then click on next so you can see the sample data is displaying the data that you get when you import let's go ahead and click on next So here we have the fields, the product name, see the module field, product name as well. Then you see the rows, it has the sample data on display. Let's go ahead and click on next. So if you wanted to do a duplicate check, this is where you do that. Let's just import now. The import is complete so you see the message here if any import failed you see it here but all the ones that pass you also see it so this is the number of data that we imported let's go back to our CRM so these are the data that has successfully imported and if you go down here you can see that product category the new one i created so here it's telling me that it has created a new product category called pants so let's go ahead and check that view products you can see the products that we imported so you see the ones that don't have costs they are the ones that we just imported because we didn't add a cost field the ones that have cost below were the existing one so let's go to product category and see the new category that was created you can see pants here so he created a new category for us as well so this is how you import data into your crm and this can be done for existing or new data if you have existing data that you exported from a previous crm solution you can always clean up that data to suit what you have currently and import it into your crm and you can do this for any module so for the case module i just downloaded one so you just read the instruction as well after reading the instruction it will give you 
a good idea of where to start from so just clean up your data properly and then you go ahead and import that into your crm okay guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you have any question regarding data imports or how to import your data into your crm please kindly leave a comment in the comment section or you can email me my email address is in the description box do give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you and subscribe if you haven't done so and while you're at it please turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any posts from me see you guys in my next video till then happy learning bye